Welcome everyone to my channel. Today we have a challenge, a very simple challenge. The question reads, x to the power of 2 further raised to x equal to x to the power of 16. What then will be the value of x? Now, ideally we are supposed to solve for about 16 values for x. Now I'm going to use two approach. One of the approach will give us just one of the real roots. Then the other two will give us about root out of the 16. Then in subsequent time, I'm going to solve using a different approach to get all 16 roots to this question. Now let's take the first root that will give us just one of the uh, solution. Let's put down our solution. Solution. All right. We take the first method. The first method. In our first method, let's put down the equation first. So the equation says x to the power of 2 or to the power of x equal to x to the power of 16. So if I take a log to big x of book side, then we're going to have this to be your log this x to your x or to the power of 2 or for that raised to 2x rather equal to your log x to the power of 16 base x. Now, recall the law of logarithm, which says that if you have log your p to the power of k, let's say base 10, move this k backward. So if you do that, we're going to have this to be your k log p base 10. So if we apply this law, then we're going to move the whole of this backward then we'll move the whole of this exponent backward too okay so if we do that we're going to have this to be 2 to the power of x log your x this x equal to 16 into your log x this x okay now recall another law of logarithm which says that if you have log x this x equal to your one okay then at the same time if you have log your seven base seven this is equal to one so the log of any number any alphabet builds itself we give us what one so if we suck up to that we have log x base x here and we also have log x base x so everything here will give us one here will give us one and so on this side we're left with 2 to the power of x equal to 16. Mind you, 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 4. And so if we rewrite this, we're going to have here 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, the bases are the same. And so they will take care of the cells. We are left with what x. Let's continue on this other side. So from here, we have our, we now have our x, we have therefore x equal to your 4. Okay, now this is the uh, solution to this exponential using this first method. Okay, you substitute the value of 4 into year, year, and year, then we're going to have our answer to be correct. Now let's look at the second method. Now look at what we want to do here now. Let's move this x to the power of 16 to the left-hand side of the equation. And so, we're going to have this to be x to the power of 2 or to the power of x minus, because here we have a visible flux, so into your x to the power of 16 equal to 0. Now, what we do here is, let's factor out x to the power of 16 from this expression here. So, if we do that, we're going to have here to be your x to the power of 16 bracket if we use x to the power of 16 which is this to divide this what will this give us it's going to give us something x to the power of 2 r to the power of x then minus 16 the minus yeah we are left with one so minus one close bracket or equal to zero now if you confuse with this simplification here this is what we did here. 
For instance, you have, we have here x to the power of 2 or to the power of x, dividing your x to the power of 16. So because we're having the basis to be the same, and we are having a division sign here, so we suck up to the lower of indices, okay? So here, we take only one of the base and subtract the power. So if we do that, we're going to have here x, look at the power here, 2 to the power of x, then minus, this is a power, 16. Okay? So that is what happened here. So from here, what we do here is we're having this side of the equation to be 0, and we're having a product here x to the power of 16, multiply everything we have inside the bracket. So we apply the zero product rule. We say that we equate this to zero, equate this to zero. So if you go ahead to do that, we're going to have this to be your x to the power of 16 equal to zero, or you'll have x to the power of two out to the power of x minus 16 minus our one equal to zero. So from here, if we take the 16th root of both sides of the equation, here will give us our x is equal to zero. Okay, so we don't have much problem with this. This is our x1. Now let's continue on this side to get our x2, s3, and... All right. So from here, let's bring down our second equation which is your x to the power of 2 or to the power of x minus 16 minus 1 equal to 0. Let's send this one to this side of the equation. So we're going to have this to be x to the power of 2 or to the power of x minus 16, everything equal to 1. Now from here again, what do we do to get our x? We are having x as the base and also having x on the power side. What we do here is to uh, take the natural log of both sides, okay? So we take the natural log. Taking the natural log of both sides, this will give us your um, nn of x to the power of 2 or to the power of x minus 16 bracket equal to your nn of one okay so if we apply the uh, power law of logarithm this will come back okay so the whole of this power if we apply the law of logarithm the whole of this power will come back here all right so we're going to have this to be your two to the power of x minus 16 let's put this in bracket ln of your x okay equal to yeah we're going to have ln of 1 will give us 0. Okay, so if ln of 1 gives us 0, then we'll brought this backward. Then, here, what is here now? We have another product rule. Okay, this is another product rule again. So, if I apply the product rule again, we have to take this to 0, equate this to 0. Okay, so this now implies that our 2 to the power of x minus 16 equal to 0 or your ln of x equal to 0. Very good. So on this other side, send this to the right hand side. So we now have 2 to the power of x equal to 16. Now 16 could also be written as 2 to the power of 4. So we have here 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 4. The basis are the same. And so what happens here, this we take care of this. We are now left with what? X and 4. So we can now equate the exponent. So if we do that, we're going to have here X equal to 4. So this is our second root. Okay? So, so let's look for our here, X3. So let's deal with the second part of our expression. So here we'll take this one. We have here ln of X equal to 0. So what do we do to get our x here? Yeah, we'll bring it our e, okay? So if we bring in our e, so this will give us here your e power of ln x equal to your e naught. Now your e naught will give us 1, okay? This, we cancel this. 
And so we are left with x. So we have x equal to 1. Okay, so this is the third root to our question. Okay, the third root. So from our second formula, we are able to solve for first root, second root, and third root from this exponential challenge, this Olympiad exponential challenge. All right. If you have learned something from this short challenge, give the video a thumbs up and also drop a comment. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay. If you like what is going on here, do not forget to subscribe. Do not hesitate to subscribe. This is all I must TV and my name is Jigs and I'm aware we learn mathematics every day. Thanks for always be there. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.